Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my coffee time with God. Uh, today, I have the black coffee from the Wells Coffee. I got a gift yesterday. Uh, it's actually the Columbia Inga uh, Light Rose. Very mild, very tasty. So go visit the well. Uh, I guess I will put a link or a cross promote somewhere. Uh, awesome. Throughout this weekend, I realized that my children are so precious. <laughs> Not that I just realized this right now, but it's more evident this weekend for me. Uh, this revelation of how my kids are watching everything I do and how I am showing them how to beca become a man of God. Uh, today, God is reminding me it, it is so important to show the next generation of boys how to leave a legacy of God in our lives. It wasn't until I became a father that I realized the responsibility of taking care of an entire family. There are moments where you feel like you want to go back to being a single. However, I would never ever change this. The busyness of raising my two boys in my life is one of the greatest single joys of my life. My boys challenges me in ways that I didn't even know it existed. It gives me a new appreciation of how God sees us. Whenever I tell them not to do something, they do it. And I realize we do the same thing to our Heavenly Father. When He reminds us not to do something, we do it. And in today's Abba's Heart devotional, He is reminding me just that. In Proverbs 17, 6 says, Children's children are crowned to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. In today's proverb, it reminds me to take responsibility to instruct my son in the way to go. I need to teach them to be consistently on God and diligently watch themselves. And they, are, and they are to remember the Word of God and teach it from generation to generation. So for, a little, for people who are a little older today, what kind of inheritance do you want to leave the next generation? Would you want to leave a legacy of godly men and godly women? So let's instruct people who are younger than us in the things of the Lord so that they can mature in faith, grow in grace, and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you find this content helpful, please subscribe. Hit the like button on my YouTube channel. God bless you and see you tomorrow.